All right, back Jenga. Ariel, why and are you introducing us to the finale of Sonic Forces? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck you yeah, and your awesome infinite game, Ariel. forces. <laughs> I'm gonna use Antrock. <laughs> Hashtag Austin forcing a new meme. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, the Sonic Forces thing was already a meme. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it kind of just writes itself. It does. <laughs> All right, so we're finishing up our um, ritual here to summon Zelototh to kill Ulyoth. So, there are way too many Austin in this game. I, uh, I should have mentioned that before, but that's something so. that that's something that I've noticed. Like, uh, I don't know what the, the I don't remember what the actual language is called, but um, the language that uh, is used in like the Cthulhu with Cthulhu, that they use a lot yeah. of odds. You know what? I've got the Necronomicon right here. Is that what it's called? Of course I do. Wait, Well, that... the Necronomicon is the Book of Fifty Names, so let me check. Cthulhu may not be in the Necronomicon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not. He might be. I'm checking. I thought he was. I was pretty sure he was. Uh, Cthulhu's like, he's not that old. Yeah, neither is the Necronomicon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I can't take that name seriously. <laughs> okay, my brother was actually saying the other day... I... hang on, before... Yeah, Cthulhu Calls is literally the first page in the Necronomicon. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? It's the first page in the Necronomicon? Madame, 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 Madame? Okay, but was the, ne the ne Necronomicon was, was, was written <laughs> after Cthulhu was made, right? Uh... But <laughs> I mean... I yes, but but it was written before the Leprechaun. Oh my god! <laughs> but for some reason, this particular one is dedicated to Aleister Crowley, which is a little strange, but whatever. I'm an asshole. I admit it. <laughs> no, no, Crowley was just an occultist. That's what my brother said. It was um. Oh, it's, it's HP Lovecraft. It's HP Lovecraft. Yeah, that's what my brother say. But this huge long foreword is being very vague about who actually wrote it. <laughs> it, it, it has his name on the book. It's HP Lovecraft. No, it doesn't. No, not in that, but in the Call of Cthulhu. Oh well, yeah, sure. HP Lovecraft himself denied the books existed. Yeah, that's right, that's why it's called Lovecraftian. Lovecraftian. Yes. Order. Yes, that's what Cthulhu is. But anyway, the language used... I, I think it's supposed to be Sumerian, but it's not, really. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they, that he made up his own language for it. Oh no, he, he did. I saw a couple things as I'm slipping through saying... Um, Sumerian, so I'm gonna go with that because this book introduction and I, I everything is being infinitely not I think helpful. it's based off of Sumerian, but it's not actually Sumerian. I think the entire point of the Necronomicon is that it's supposed to be Sumerian, but it's all kind of hit or miss. Although some of these in here were actual things. Like Ishtar here. Merrick! <laughs> <laughs> well, here's Marduk. I mean, that midriff is you know, that midriff could be uh, considered evil. I mean, that <laughs> midriff is incredibly evil. I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> All right, Necronomicon, get out of here! It just fell on the floor. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh so that was the, uh, empty inventory sanity effect. So that you can be convinced that you have no items. Um. 
think we're on the last rune now, aren't we? Or did we just do it? Ah, oh, we just did the last rune. Alright, so I'm going in. You know, if instead of getting the enchanted Gladius, we got... We got, um... Fuck, I forgot the name. Frank the uh, Undoer. <laughs> we would have beaten this game already. <laughs> I mean, Frank the Undoer is pretty good, but only against, like, a couple things. And Elder Abominations isn't one of them. I don't know, I believe in him. <laughs> you, you probably shouldn't give him that kind of power. Ariel, Ariel. If he has all of his evil powers, plus the, his friends are counting on him powers, no way he can lose. I don't think he has friends, though. Just He's willing a, sacrifices. Ariel, you got a friend in me. <laughs> okay, I don't but are you a willing sacrifice? As long as you have Toy Story. Your Lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks uh, to your efforts, I have three of Well, Frank is flattered, but you really, pious. really shouldn't. This is <laughs> anyway, we're confronted uh, by us, but it's too late. He's already stewing the summoning. Can we just shoot him? He, I, he's... <laughs> Brian, he has been undead for like three thousand years. This game has CG cutscenes. This is like the seventh one. <laughs> Ariel, um, Ariel, this might surprise you, but I haven't been paying very close attention. We're watching a video game. Wait, hold it. <laughs> Basically, this every is a game. You know what, Brian? To be fair, you could say the same thing about Sonic Force. Most of that game is just watching shit happen. <laughs> okay, but every time Uliath has shown up, it's been a CG scene. Oh, man. Anyway, now we're summoning our combatants to fight Uliath. And it's Celotop. And again, I chose this- I chose Uliath at the beginning specifically so that we could summon Zelotop at the end. Because I like her better. Yeah, <laughs> look at her wiggle. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is it. This is it. Rated E for everyone. <laughs> Brian, no, it's not. It's rated M, M Brian. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now we get to do the best boss fight ever. I hope you like running back and forth. <laughs> I mean, that's what we- Is that all we're doing? I mean, he could kill us at any point, but mostly I'm just running past him. He's swinging his stick at me. <laughs> oh, get back here, this you scallywag. God <laughs> damn it! Oh, he drained my health! Scally. So, basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to damage the essence of Uliath, because that's what's been keeping him alive this whole time and shit. Um, Girl, heal! You're gonna die! I can't heal because it takes like 10 seconds to heal! <laughs> and he's right anyway. there! <laughs> anyway, what happens I once... Mean... I mean, you'll see this shortly here, but once you damage it enough times... Um... We're gonna start... Right now, actually, we're gonna start cycling through the people who lost their lives trying to stop this shit from happening. <laughs> so, here's Elia. She gets to pick up the ghost tome of Eternal Darkness, and now we're Elia! And now oh, we don't have a health it. bar. Because we're kittens. How is this better? <laughs> because we get to just... It's just, I don't know, it's supposed to... <laughs> <laughs> it's meaningful. Ariel doesn't even know what's happening anymore. <laughs> no, it's all of the souls are coming together in this moment to stop Pius and Ulia. Well, it doesn't appear to be working very well. Well, it works just <laughs> fine because he can't kill you when you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> because they're already dead. <laughs> yeah, and reminder, there is a cutscene if he kills you, but I don't die to him. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I like, we're not to it yet, but some of the people's running cycles is to the rhythm of the music. <laughs> and I really enjoy that. Even though this entire battle is just running back and forth. <laughs> A 
mean, like... Do you take damage every time way? you attack one of them? Well, you see, he has a shield up and shit, so I take damage from the shield. Okay. You know, if I were he, I would just wait on the other side. I would just wait on the other side, because you have to come back eventually, right? Well, see, the thing is, he really should just wait in front of the essence of Uliath instead of letting it just teleport all over the place. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but... You know, he's not the smartest skeleton in the bunch. <laughs> Gotta do a fancy attack. Anyway, here's what's going on with the Ultra Abominations. Wait, have they just been floating there this entire time? <laughs> this is a, this is supposed to be simultaneously. <laughs> well, Ariel, you see, okay, so the, the, the evil one was just distracted by those seductive hips. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Where'd you been all my life? <laughs> I mean, you know what? Oh my he, god. She Ariel, is his okay, weakness, how long so. Do we do this? How long do we do this? Um, most of the parts. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Nobody said this game had good combat, okay? Hey, look, it's Benjamin okay, Franklin! Game Franklin! Benjamin Franklin! <laughs> uh, you know what? I was, just about to say yeah! I was just about to say Sonic Forces has a better final boss. That's, that's, that's a lie. Benjamin <laughs> motherfucking Franklin. <laughs> ben, okay, I, Maximilian is one of the ones who runs to the beat of the music, so... <laughs> I, I knew there was a reason for a paragraph on kicking ass in the Declaration <laughs> of Independence. <laughs> anyway, if we just got to Maximilian, that means there's only a couple more people to cycle through here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, alright, but this part is still like, we're still like 14 minutes out. Well, there's also cutscenes and shit, and then the credits. Okay. Yeah, Brian, this is- Alright, okay. A, uh, you know, I was gonna say this is at Sonic Forces. There's like a month, one minute cutscene. There's like ten minutes of credits in that game. Oh wait, man, <laughs> these people aren't going in order. Man, I don't know how many are left, and I wasn't keeping track. Cause now we're- we're Paul- <laughs> okay, No, wait, maybe Paul Luther was after- far. Maybe Paul Luther was after Max- No, Okay, it looks like there's like- God, I don't more remember minutes. anymore. It looks like there's three more minutes of this. <laughs> like I said, nobody said this game was known for its combat. <laughs> See, that's interesting, considering. Roberto Bianchi. Basically. No, it, it is going in order, I guess. Yeah. Now we're now we're Bianchi. Like, I think this game would be a lot better if it didn't try to be combat centric at any point. I mean, yeah, the worst parts have been this battle against Pius and the battle against the Guardian. Yeah, so why? <laughs> they just cut that out and still have, still have the core of the game, basically. <laughs> Silly, Uliath. Man, man, Your this is portals the most... don't work on Zellos, huh? This is the most highly produced Pokemon battle I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 Man, the new Ultra Thunder Beasts Ball. look great! Ryan, do, you, do you not remember Pokemon Generation? Actually, yeah, you know what, you're right. I'm Actually, sorry I ever what? even suggested. You know what, that reminds me, um, <laughs> when, I, when I took my brother, my little brother to see, um, the new Pokemon movie theaters, before the movie played, they were playing clips of Pokemon Generation. Enter my or an episode. Oh Man. yeah, I did watch the end. That 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 seeing that on the big screen. Yeah, they, like did they show the fight between red and blue? Oh uh, no, not the not end? not origin. It was generations. Oh, okay, right. right. It had blue fight the elite. Four, okay, yeah. And it had a uh, looker looker uh, Giovanni. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where they had an arc oh, they have, they have an Arcanine use flamethrower on a wall, not knowing if there's anyone on the other side. It literally, <laughs> it literally melts the like the wall into like lava. 
Uh, All right, also, guys. I'm about fire to fire hazard. <laughs> I'm about to beat this thousands of year old gladiator in a sword fight. <laughs> Let go! <laughs> and I have been using a sword for all of like three days. <laughs> I mean, Ariel, do you see the see. weapon he's using? That doesn't look very. I mean, he is using a spine, yes. <laughs> I mean, that's the sword swing of someone who has nothing to lose. <laughs> he's so handicapped, he's really... he had to use a spine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got my enchanted gladius, which I think should make this battle technically slightly faster. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, I know I should probably do this after we're done recording the part, but I don't want to forget. I think uh, I think I found another live game for a game we can record live. We should record the Death Road to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I I'm am down, aware yes. of it, yes. Oh, anyway, we oh just won, God. finally. That game is... That game is bullshit hard, but in the best ways. <laughs> oh, no. I got it, guys. I got it, guys. She used counter. Or is that mirror coat? Yeah, that's mirror coat. Mirror coat. Yeah, something attack. like that. No, wait, wait, this might be, this might be Gen 1 or Gen 2, so that might have been a physical attack he used. <laughs> anyway, if we got an Ultra Ball, we could probably catch him. <laughs> no, not an Ultra Ball, what the fuck are the ones called for the Ultra Beasts? Uh, the, the, the fucking... Beast Ball. Yeah, sure. Anyway, that's what it's he's called. dying Ariel, now. That wasn't a joke, that's what it's called. It's not I, anyway, <laughs> he's dying now. No. No. My <laughs> death is just the beginning. Fuck you anyway. Look <laughs> <laughs> like how that's your retort. Slate. <laughs> you may Do we strike really me need down, to kill him? but I'll come back strong. But I'll just come back stronger than before. Well, well fuck see, you anyway. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> now that we summon Zelotot to kill Ulioth, well, now Zelotot's just gonna take over the world. Okay, every time you say yeah. Zelotot, I think you're gonna say Zelda. <laughs> well, excuse me. Anyway, Grandpa's gonna help us now. Quickly, Alex. Yay! We must find this creature. I don't have a Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Brian, this, this is another incident. Uh, I just ruined this commentary. <laughs> Brian, this was an incident where you do have the option to cast the wrong spell, but he just yells at you. Or it's not that he yells at you, he's like, come on, you know better than that. What are you doing? He is doing You're it! So he's great. doing himself! <laughs> Oh. Because oh, okay. instead of it just being a quick time event, you actually have a choice. <laughs> hey, Ariel, I don't want to hear that. In Sonic Forces, you have the choice to do the quick time event or not do the quick time event. And no matter which one you choose, you win. I'm to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But that was basically the long short of it. And so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. Anyway, here's a heart Okay, belt you know, moment. from behind the top of uh, uh, our creature, looks like Rita Repulsa. What? <laughs> like, okay, with the hands <laughs> off screen, she looks like Rita Repulsa. Oh. Alright, so this, the true ending is this, um, this moment where she real, okay. All three endings are slightly different in terms of the monologue here, but this is the ending you get for beating all three timelines. Because... So which one's the canon ending? The true ending. Okay, but does, you it, have does, to it, beat... does it depend on which one you choose No, wait, wait for it. No. 
because you have to beat all three because of this. Of the three ancients, there is nothing. The mighty Chaturga has obliterated the insanity of Zelotarth. The madness of Zelotarth has overcome the power of Uliath. I'm just hearing Pargon over and over. Uliath has all at once, Here, separate and simultaneous. For the universe is made of so you have to manually set those spells up. Possibilities. Yes. All in harmonious well, not okay. Not all of them. Only the ones we do the nine tier one we have to manually set up. The other ones we could manually discover. Overseer, but that's it. Chaos. Oh. An entity trap once you, once you discover the spell or learn the spell, you um, all you have to do is just update it once you get Pargon. Oh my god, there's 11 minutes left of this part. It could rely only on um, it should be okay, this guys, I have to piss really bad. <laughs> it's not 11 <laughs> minutes, it's like 5 minutes. What the hell are you talking about? What? what time are you at? 21? Yeah. What happened? Okay, I must have clicked something. No. <laughs> okay. I, I, yeah, because right, we're at like, we're at the ending cutscene. <laughs> yeah, he's just like Pargon, Park. No, dude, he was he was saying that the true ending here is that Mantarok set all of this up so that three different timelines. Okay, Ariel, that explains why I didn't understand what was happening. Yes, it does. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why you were going Pargon, Pargon, Pargon. Um, yeah, so, what happened there, the canon ending here, is that Mantarok arranged for us, through these three separate timelines, to have, simultaneously, each guardian kill- or not guardian, each ancient kill the other ancients, so that all three of them were killed by each other at the same time. <laughs> okay. But I don't think that's how I don't that think that's works. how <laughs> yeah. Well they're multi-dimensional <laughs> Eldric abominations. Apparently that is how that works. I mean if you just wanna make shit up, sure. Multi-dimensional Eldric abominations. <laughs> I mean you can add as anyway. many words as you want to and it still sounds pretty <laughs> stupid. Hey, I didn't say I agreed with it, I'm just saying that's the logic. Um, so yeah, now Mantarok is the only one left, and he has been quote-unquote slowly dying for most of the game. <laughs> Which, again, spans over, like, a thousand years. <laughs> so what would, so... would the sequel be about him? Um, there actually was... The sequel, in quotes, that I saw wasn't actually a sequel so much as it was set in the same year. Like, it wasn't even necessarily in the same universe. It may have just been, like, you know, um... Like a reimagining? No. Ugh, I can't think of the fucking... A spiritual successor, but by the same people. Like, it's got the same ideas, but it's not necessarily the same timeline or story or anything. I don't know. It didn't get super far. Um, so we're really not sure what was gonna be in it. <laughs> well, I mean, the Kickstarter, like... Didn't the Kickstarter, like, completely fail? Oh, yeah. Which, actually, speaking of Kickstarters that completely failed, my brother and I, um, funded one. Actually, it wasn't a Kickstarter. It was a backer kit. I, no. I don't fucking remember. Um, for... Swery game. Swery? Yeah. Um. He gets Deadly Premonition. He said this one was called The Good Life, and you were solving a murder with the daily life aspects, but at night sometimes you turn into a cat. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Is there. <laughs> yeah, well, there only in this town. <laughs> I don't well, know. Well, that was part of the game, was finding out why. suspiciously like Sonic Forces. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, it didn't hit its goal, 
So we don't know what he's going to do now because um, apparently one of the games he wanted to make, actually most games that he's wanted to make and has successfully made, he failed multiple times before actually successfully making them. <laughs> so we don't know what's going to happen next. Man, that is a but anyway. face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that I was Pius' mask. Time. Actually, you know what? I don't know if you're at the same time either. 25, 25. No. Nope. 26. 25, 27, 25, 28, 25, 30. 25, 31. 32. 32. 32. 32. It was the one at around, like, the five minute mark. The, the night. I think, it, I think it was a night. Yeah, it was prob. Oh. Oh, it might have been the, the Kummer night. Anyway, it, it was ugly. Anyway. That's, all, that's all you need to know. Okay, so that was Eternal Darkness. You got any thoughts being your fir your guys' first time in the game? And the, you know... Too much chanting! I think that's kind of the point of the game, Brian. Too much! <laughs> that's it. How that's else Ryan. are you supposed to do things? <laughs> I don't know, you can just press a button and have it happen, like in every other game. <laughs> with yeah. It, without the chanting. <laughs> yeah, but where's the uniqueness in that? Um, you could, you could make, like, um, depending on your sanity, different things happen. You can do that. Uh, Ariel, <laughs> is the chanting based on your sanity? Um, not for the spells, I'm but the background about... music is. Oh, that's right. You said that point. Brian, that's Ariel's fault. Yeah, the stuff like the... that That's part of my sanity being low. Because the game does oh! actually have music. <laughs> so that wasn't... We didn't need to... Oh my god. <laughs> that's yeah, not okay. I, I, yeah, I remember Ariel saying that in an earlier part. And us having the same reaction. I mean, it doesn't bother me at all, but... Yeah, well, I don't know. it's not always about you, okay? I mean, <laughs> I like it when it's about me. Let's talk about Sonic Forces. How bad that Yeah, you, you were done talking about <laughs> Sonic Forces! <laughs> Silly Ariel, we're never done talking about Sonic Forces. <laughs> I thought Sonic Forces what was forcing you apart or some shit, so stop... Talk and god damn it, tune in next okay, time Ariel, when we're still okay, doing Ariel, Sonic Ariel, Forces. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's talk about Sonic Mania. <laughs> I think I think I killed Ariel. <laughs>